All right, everybody, welcome back to Evolution 2014, coming to you live from the Westgate Casino here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We are playing some old man games. <laughs> That's why they got us up here, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is the 20th anniversary of Super Street Fighter II Turbo, the final, well, almost the final version yeah, yeah. of the original <laughs> Street Fighter II. Uh, the, the final one, of course, it was the HDR uh, mm -hmm. update many years later, uh, but this was sort of the granddaddy of the Street Fighter II series. That's it's right. been played religiously and extremely well by players around the world ever since. Yeah, and year after year after year, a group known by X-Mania in Japan yes. has been running a 3v3 team tournament just every year, and it's always full of just killers all over the place. And recently, in the past few years, they took X-Mania on the road, yes. and uh, for the last two years, it was in Europe. And this year, thanks to the 20th anniversary of Super Turbo, it felt only appropriate to bring it here. <laughs> here to Evolution 2014, and it's a corker. They've got lots of amazing OG <laughs> players yeah. uh, here. Basically, you know, people you've known for a very long time. They got Many of them got their start playing Super Turbo. Uh, many of them had never stopped playing Super Turbo. We've got a team. On the first team, we have Mao. Coming up to the stage. All right, this is Team M3 of Mao, Matsun, and TMF. Mao, of course, just won the Tournament of Legends tournament yes. yesterday, and he won the previous Tournament of Legends <laughs> tournament two years ago. One of the scariest uh, Vega slash Claw users. He does. I'd like to see him play. He's got some new technology uh, as well with Claw. Uh, he's. People are familiar. Claw, of course, in this game is extremely deadly because he's got a nasty off-the-wall cross-up that's mm -hmm. extremely hard to see, uh, as well as an option to go into a throw. But it's usually that 50-50 mix-up, which you can go right back into it. Uh, he has technology where he doesn't actually hit a button sometimes to attack, to try and bait out the counter mm -hmm. uh, that some characters have. Some characters have a very difficult time countering it at all, but he's got sort of a next-level tech where you gain vastly greater control over Vega in the air by not hitting the attack button. Right. And uh, he's playing, yeah, been blowing people up with that <laughs> for a while. And his opponent, of course, is Mukus. Yep. So well, this is Team Legal, apparently, which is Mukus, who uses Ohawk, uh, yes. Digital Infamy, who uses Boxer, and Mongolo Robocop, who uses Kami. Now, interestingly enough, Super Turbo was an interesting game here because <laughs> it's 20 years, as we said, right? Yes. A character like T-Hawk slash Ohawk, yes. uh, there's, you can play the old versions of the characters in the game, have been at the bottom of the tier list for years, for I would say 15 of the last 20 years. And only recently, like within the last five years, he has skyrocketed up to being top four thanks to some option select tech. Very nasty technology. It looks like they've actually gone with Mongolo Robocop to lead this off, so it will yep. not be Mukus. And they're going to go up against TMF's Zangief. This is a tough match for Zangief, Kami can uppercut pretty much everything, and he has trouble beating the low forward that Kami has. And the stand force. He's got a lot of interesting anti-airs in addition to the dragon punch. Oh, there's nice. one there, yep. right there. Crouching fierce, beautiful stuff. And it will depend a bit on which jump-in option Zangief opts to go with. Right. But and really, this is definitely advantage Kami. She tends to control the match and yeah. react. The other biggest problem is once he actually knocks her down, if she does wake up uppercut, there's really nothing Zangief can do to punish it. Wow, but in the corner there is. Yeah. She just went for it anyway. That's a big surprise and nice stuff. And you just saw her go for it. Oh, good block. That's too close. Oh, I see. Just a hand punish. Now just tidy look. Look, only 10 seconds left on the clock. It's and all up to... Oh, oh got him. Got him with the like, I was just going to run. Yeah. And that is it in a surprising end to round one. <laughs> And this is a game that you virtually never see timeouts in. Yeah. <laughs> and we've just opened this X-Mania Finals and with a timeout. Yeah, and one thing about Cammy's Hooligan, if you're used to stuff like Street Fighter 4, this thing grabs Croucher, Standers, people in the air, it doesn't matter, and it's ridiculously fast. And so far right now, the, the biggest problem I see for Mongolo Robocop is he hasn't quite got the uppercut reaction to catch Zangief out of the air, but that also means that TMF doing oh. a great job with his jump timing. Wow, showing a lot of respect there, not going for the, for the pile driver. He knew he didn't have to go for it. He had the control in the corner. Very strong stuff from TMF there. Very impressive. Now, since this is X-Mania, we're playing by X-Mania rules, I believe. And in Japan, fighting game tournaments are brutal. They're usually best of one yes. and single elimination. And this is a single elimination, final eight team bracket. 
Oh, that's going to oh, be Oh, yeah, and down it goes. Mongolo Robocop has been defeated. And that is going to be a definite blow to Team Legal. They know they're in very shark-infested waters here in this final eight bracket, but also that's the best draw they could have hoped for.